gather around my children. Old Papa Gig's gonna tell you a story. Alright, so today we're gonna talk about drunk driving, and I'm bringing this up because something really interesting happened last night when I was having dinner with my father. We were out at a fast food type place, not quite, but pretty similar, and he was drinking a little bit, and for some reason, out of the middle of nowhere, he decided to just give me a speech about not driving drunk, and he was like, Son, whatever you do, never, ever, ever drive drunk. And he's sitting there with a bottle of wine, <laughs> drinking, and um, I'm like, Dad, he's like, yes. I'm like, are you gonna drive back or do you want me to drive back? He's like, oh, I'll be fine, I'll drive back. And he's sitting there drinking an entire bottle of wine. Yeah, that was pretty inter <laughs> that was pretty interesting. But anyway, I am here to educate, and I'm gonna tell you guys a story that I really wish didn't happen. Um, it was a combination of drinking and stupidity probably mostly stupidity and yeah hopefully you learn from my mistakes so this event happened back when i was living in las vegas i'm not there right now but i lived there for a while already you can tell crazy things are gonna happen right well me and my roommate were gonna go all the way to the other side of town and i wanted to save two dollars and fifty cents on shipping to get a gift card so instead of having it sent to my address, I had it sent all the way to the only store that had the gift card all the way across town so I could save a couple of bucks on shipping. We went there and before we went to the store, we decided to go and get some food, have a couple of drinks, just, you know, chill out for a little bit because we had driven all the way across town in the middle of fucking, you know, Africa or something and we were really far away. So we decided to just chill out for a little bit and not make it such a stupid trip all the way out there. And my roommate decided to go because we were living in Las Vegas and he lost a bet. So he had to, he had to waste his entire day and come along with me and do nothing. So yeah, after having a couple of drinks, we go get my gift cards and uh, on the way back, Oh god. On the way back, um, my roommate starts talking to me and trying to distract me, and we both had a couple of drinks, and all of a sudden, we get to this off-ramp, and my roommate tells me to take a left. And I'm like, no man, that's not right, there's no way, that's like, totally not the right way. And, and again, we had a couple of drinks, he's like, nah dude, that's the way to go, take a left, bro. And so, I take a left. <laughs> and I start driving, and it, things don't seem right. There's something a little bit suspicious about this road, because I don't see any cars, and it just doesn't quite seem right to me in the head. So I drive on this road for about half a mile, and then all of a sudden, over a little hill, I see a fucking car coming towards me. Now I fucking realize that I'm driving on the wrong side of an interstate freeway, and that there are oncoming cars coming at 70 miles per hour, driving towards us while I'm driving in the other direction going about 60 miles per hour, right? So in about 8 to 10 seconds, I'm gonna get completely fucked, probably die. So I immediately swerve the car the other way around, just like in a Hollywood movie, and I just freaking, I don't even know how I do it, but I managed to just go into complete survival mode, and I still run over a couple of things. I still hit the side of the road. I still hit the curbs and the barriers on the road and I dent up my car a little bit, but I just narrowly escaped death. And why did this happen? How did this happen? Again, combination of stupidity, possibly a couple of drinks, but that is the most ridiculous thing that has ever happened to me while driving. And I wish you guys could see it. It was a scary couple of seconds. And uh, if you guys would have been there, you would have seen how action-packed those 10 seconds of my life actually were. Um, I couldn't drive for a couple of days afterwards, and in fact, as soon as I got back to my apartment, I vomited because I was just so shaken up after this. Because again, I was just a second away, a split second from being hit by cars uh, going in the other direction. So yeah, guys, don't drink and drive. Don't be stupid. Don't have your roommate convince you to drive on the wrong side of an interstate freeway, and you'll be good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, feel free to like, subscribe, share with your friends, check out my other stories, all that stuff. And I'm interested from you guys if you have had any stories similar to this, drinking and driving. Again, it's not good, but if you've been through something similar to what I went through, I'm interested. I'll read the comments. And of course, if we can hit 420 likes, I will go ahead and send you a brand new car for free. So thanks again for listening, and I'll see you all next time. Old Papa Gig is tired now, but I'll be back.